BFTB, best fight the best. It's a great day today, man. <laughs> it's a great day. Had a, I had a, a great live last night. Um, I have a great live schedule today. <laughs> I play chess. Y'all play Quidditch. Remember that. <laughs> I have a great live schedule tonight. Great. A great live. Um, and it's going to be... It's going to be enlightening. My live stream is going to be enlightening. Even, even the people that fuck with me, right? Even the people that fuck with me. Understand something. When I say I play chess... I don't even tell you all all of my moves. <laughs> you can't tell everybody your moves. You have to allow them to come to fruition. And when I tell you, I set this up something serious. <laughs> just know, just know, when I tell you I set this one up something serious. When I let you just, just this one's going to be, this one's going to be nice. This, this is a, this is a checkmate right here. This is a checkmate. This is a checkmate and start a new game. That's what this one is. This live that I'm about to do tonight. <laughs> just, just know that. Now, anyways, there is, um, there is a battle rapper, all right? There's a battle rapper. Um, damn, I can't remember his name. Shit. But he, uh... Fuck. Charlie Clips. That's his name. Charlie Clips. The battle rapper, Charlie Clips. And he says stuff that, like... He says, hey... Uh, Y'all think... So, something like... He says something like... Uh, if y'all think this scheme is mean... If it's mean with it, I'm going to take the whole scheme and do a whole nother scene with it. Some shit like that. It's something like that. It's what he says. So, you know, I was listening to Trapped in the Closet, version one. First one I ever did is what I was listening to. Trapped in the Closet, version one. And <laughs> the the... The times, right? The times have changed, of course. But what Eddie Hearn did. So it's super, it's super, it's super simple, man. So for everybody <laughs> that was thinking it was me, it, what I did was mean with it. Well, I'm gonna take what this nigga said and do a whole nother scheme with it. <laughs> this nigga Eddie Hearn Listen and, and before I get into that right I want everybody to understand I'm not doing a lot of of videos about Joshua I mean not Joshua but about uh Fury and Wilder because those kings are really not saying nothing. They're not in the media talking. They are behind the scenes working. That's what they're doing. They are behind the scenes putting in that work getting ready for each other that's what they are doing behind the scenes working just like Errol Spence behind the scenes working getting themselves ready for the fight that they want that's what they're doing they're not in the media talking shit they're not in the media running their mouth saying something about this and saying something about that but I got you <laughs> So one, Eddie Hearn says, you know, this is when I when I did Trapped in the Closet version one. Eddie Hearn says, oh, Big Josh, he's not in the media. He's not in the media saying these things. He wants to knock the fuck out of Deontay Wilder. And for and Fury, you know, and White. You know, he wants to knock the fuck out of him. You know. He's not in the media. He's not on Twitter. But then right after that, Anthony Joshua goes on ESPN. <laughs> he goes on ESPN. He's all in Twitter. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all over social media. <laughs> and the UK fan bitches take that and say, oh, well, here, look. Look, Anthony Joshua was calling. He's calling out Wilder. He's calling him out again. They're making improved offers. Look, and Deontay Wilder won't respond. He won't respond to Shelly. I mean, uh, Shelly Finkel won't respond. Wilder won't respond to Eddie Hearn in their emails. They won't respond. But I just thought you said he's not in the media. He's not in the media. He's not on Twitter. <laughs> no problem. No problem. No problem. So Eddie Hearn says, Eddie Hearn says, you know, Joshua wants what the fans want. He said this goes hand in hand. If the fights that Anthony Joshua does are the exact fights that the fans want. Because he was asked about it. He said, he was asked, well, you know, it's been a lot of talk about Jarrell Miller. And people are saying, well, you know, what, what has Jarrell Miller done to get a fight? What has Jarrell Miller done? And then Eddie Hearn goes on to say, well, well, uh, listen, Anthony Joshua wants what the fans want. So, you know. They go hand in hand. He does that stupid shit every time. He'll say a question and he'll go, yeah, just watch him. He'll be like, yeah, well, you know, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, of course they want to say that. Of course they want to do that. Snake, a fucking piece of shit. Eddie Hearn says, oh, well, what Anthony Joshua wants, the fans want. The fans want that. Anthony Joshua wants exactly what the fans want. What Anthony Joshua wants goes hand in hand with what the fans want. What fans wanted Jarrell Miller. You're fighting Jarrell Miller right now. What fans wanted you to fight Jarrell Miller? What fans? Jarrell Miller? <laughs> He's a fan of yours. Is that the fan you're talking about? What fans wanted any wanted Anthony Joshua to fight Jarrell Miller? Name him. Name him. <laughs> there ain't even no fucking UK fans that wanted Anthony Joshua to fight Jarrell Miller. They they are going getting on board with this fight now. They are they are agreeing to this fight now because they're AJ Dick Riders. Doesn't matter at this point. They're AJ Dick Riders. But they didn't want that. They they were in my chat and the and it's still there. The comments are still there. Oh, Anthony Joshua's fighting Tyson Fury April 13th. Just watch. Anthony Joshua's fighting Tyson Fury. Anthony Joshua, he only fights the greats. And he's fighting Tyson Fury next. Just watch. Deontay Wilder is not fighting him. Deontay Wilder is fighting Brazil. And then let's and then let's get into that. So Eddie Hearn says, listen, listen, mate, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not surprised if this fight with Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, I mean and, and Tyson Fury doesn't happen. Because, look, mate, look, the whole world, the whole world knows Tyson Fury won. The whole world. So that means Tyson Fury is going to want 50-50. And Deontay Wilder's not going to do that. Deontay Wilder's going to be like, look, mate, no, uh, no, you didn't win. You're not getting 50-50. So I wouldn't be surprised if Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury don't even fight. This shit is absolutely pathetic, man. It's absolutely pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. But, you know, then, um, then Eddie Hearn goes on to say, uh, you know, and look at Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis, you know, who did you fight in 22 fights in? Who did you fight? Show me your resume. Show me your resume. So, <laughs> the only person that Anthony Joshua fought. The only person was Vladimir Klitschko. That is the only person that Anthony Joshua fought. There, he has nobody else on his resume. If you remove Vladimir Klitschko from Anthony Joshua's resume, it is trash. He's beating nobody. Nobody and nothing. All right? So, Vladimir Klitschko. Now, I had a conversation. Uh, actually, I have multiple conversations, but I did lives... You know, consistent lives when we're talking about lineal, 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 and all these same fucking people, right? 
that are agreeing with Eddie Hearn about Lennox Lewis and Lennox Lewis not fighting anybody. Yada, yada, yada. Yo, show me your resume, 22 fights in and all this other shit. Show me your resume, right? All this other shit. But they just sat here. They sat here and said that many times that Vitaly Klitschko, Vitaly, was better than Vladimir. That, that this is the UK fuckboys. The UK fuckboys. The UK fan bitches. The UK dick riders. These pussy ass uh, Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua fags were on my live crying like bitches about how Vitaly Klitschko was better than Vladimir Klitschko. Vitaly. Oh, Vitaly should be the lineal champion. Vitaly was better. Vitaly was this and Vitaly was that. Well, did Anthony Joshua fight Vitaly Klitschko? Or did Lennox Lewis fight Vitaly Klitschko? Which one of those guys fought Vitaly Klitschko? I'm just curious. Because you guys said, you fuckboy AJ Dick Riders, y'all said Vladimir was not as good as Vitaly. Vladimir. Not as good as Vitaly. Vitaly was better. He's better. Listen, bruv. Cheery. Cheerio, mate. Oi. Oi. Oi, mate. Oi, bruv. Vitaly is better. Vitaly's better. Vitaly's better, bruv. Vitaly's better than Vladimir, bruv. Let, let me let me ask you let me ask you a question, mate. Let me ask you a question, bruv. Who is better? Who is better? Vladimir or Vitaly? Who is better, bruv? Who's better? Vitaly. There you go, Vitaly. Oh no no no. Let's not change it. Vitaly is better. Well, which one of those guys, which one of the brothers, did Anthony Joshua fight? The worst one. <laughs> Anthony Joshua fought the worst brother. This ain't me saying this. This is you saying this. This is you UK pussy ass Anthony Joshua homosexual fuckboys. That says Vitaly is better than Vladimir. Well, well, Lennox Lewis fought Vitaly. Which one did Anthony Joshua fight? Which one? <laughs> this is light work, man. This is light work. <laughs> You know, they go hand in hand. What Josh wants, what Big Josh, what Big Josh wants, is what the fans want. What Big Josh wants is what the fans want. You know, you know, Cheerio, mate. That's what he wants. Big Josh, Big Josh, you know, Big Josh. He, he, we have, we have constantly, constantly sent improved offers. We're the only ones improving our offers. We're the only ones. So Deontay Wilder's offer of 50-50, his original offer of 50-50, was improved. It was improved to 60-40 in Joshua's split. That's a fact. That is a fact. But I guess they're the only I guess uh, Eddie Hearn and Joshua are the only ones sending improved offers. They're the only ones, you know. So let's see. Let's see. Let, let's 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 equal them up, right? Deontay Wilder makes an original offer, the first offer of fifty fifty. He makes the first offer of fifty fifty. Deontay Wilder. 
They countered that offer with Joshua's not experienced enough. That was their counter. But let, let, what was the first offer that Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua gave? The first offer that Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua gave was $12 million flat fee. Take it or leave it. That was their first offer. So, so Deontay Wilder's first offer was a 50-50 split of everything, right down the middle. You both had one belt. You were not bigger than the other one. Well, Anthony, De actually, Deontay Wilder was bigger than Anthony Joshua. Way bigger, but whatever. Deontay Wilder conceded 50-50 split between two one-belt champions. He conceded that. 50-50 split. That was his first offer. Eddie Hearn's first offer was $12 million flat fee. Anthony Joshua takes everything else. That was that though there there's the difference of the first offers that each team made. The second offer made is the second offer is Deontay Wilder said 60-40 for you. Deontay Wilder improved his offer. He improved it for you. Gave you a bigger split. A bigger split. Not not a flat fee where you have no say in nothing. Where it's flat fee, take it or leave it. You have no say in nothing. He gave you a bigger split. He gave you 60-40. That's what he did. Gave you 60%. 60-40. Alright, that's what Wilder did in his second in his second offer. Right? He improved his offer. He improved his second offer. He gave you 60%. 60% of everything. Your improved offer went from 12 million flat to 15 million flat. And Wilder gets nothing. Nothing else. 15 million flat fee. That is your improved offer. That is your second improved offer. Deontay Wilder's second improved offer was a percentage split. He's giving you 60% of everything. He gets 40% of everything. You guys gave him 15 million flat. Nothing else. 15 million flat. And you guys take everything else. Deontay Wilder improved his offer yet again. He said, I will fight Dillian White. Because you guys said, oh, well, fight Dillian White for five million, right? Fight Dillian White for five million, and then fight Anthony Joshua for 15 million for a total of a two fight total of 20 million. A two fight total of 20 million for two fights. Deontay Wilder said, fine. I accept that offer. I accept. You send me a contract that says I will fight Dillian White and the winner gets Anthony Joshua. You then reneged on your own contract. You said, no, no, no. Well, listen, fight Dillian White all by himself and then we'll start negotiating. Um, then we'll negotiate the Joshua fight after that. But fight Dillian White by himself and build your profile. And then we'll start negotiating a Joshua fight. So, Wilder said, fine. I will fight Dillian White by himself. But it will not be for $5 million. It will be for $10 million. You give me $10 million and I will fight Dillian White by himself. No problem. You said no. You're not worth $10 million. No. Not getting that. But Anthony Joshua is fighting Jarrell Miller right now for $32 million. He's fighting a nobody. A dude who's done nothing to deserve this, this title shot. But he's fighting him for $32 million. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Let's keep let's continue on these offers. Right? So, Deontay Wilder says, fine. I will improve my offer. You don't think I'm worth 50-50. You don't think I'm worth 60-40. You're not willing to put Dillian White on the contract for the winner. Fine. So, 
you give me anything, anything you think I'm worth, give me anything, as long as if I beat you, you take that in the rematch. He improved his offer. Wilder imp improved his offer. You know what I'm saying? Now he had made 50-50, a 50-50 offer. He had made a 60-40 offer. He agreed to fight Dillian White in the UK as long as you put Joshua on the contract. Now he improved his offer again. He improved his offer again. He said, I will take anything you give me. Anything. As long as if I beat you, you take that in the rematch. Anything. They turned that down. They said no. Because Big Josh, Big Feminine Fag Fuckboy Josh, is the A-side, win or lose. Regardless if he gets knocked out in the first round, he still deserves 50% in the rematch. They said 50-50 split in the rematch. If Wilder wins. That's what they said. 50-50 split in the rematch. So if Deontay Wilder obliterates this guy, destroys him in, a, in an embarrassing one-sided fight, Deontay Wilder still must give 50-50 in the rematch. A disgrace. That is dis a disgrace. That is a disgrace. Those are disgraceful negotiations that nobody would agree to. No fighter in boxing would agree to that. Nobody. Nobody, except Dillian, I mean, except uh, probably um, Jarrell Miller. <laughs> except Jarrell Miller. Oh, okay. So, Team jo Team Joshua makes no other offer. They make no other offer at all. None. They make no other offer. Deontay Wilder improves his offer again. No. No, let, let me move that back. Team Joshua is in the media where they say they're not at. We're not on Twitter. We're not in the media, you know, talking about this and talking about that. But Team Joshua is in the media and says, I will take $50 million. Team Wilder, Team Wilder, give me $50 million and I swear I'll take this fight tomorrow. That's where Team Wilder heard this fucking coward saying this. In the media. FYI. So, Team Wilder says, oh, okay, you want $50 million. Fine. The money's in the bag. No problem. I got you. And sent them emails. Sent them emails. Sent Joshua emails directly. Sent Eddie Hearn and Barry Hearn emails directly that went unanswered didn't nobody accept it nobody accept nothing Eddie Hearn says oh well we got some uh, email from some guy in Alabama but now Hearn is saying oh well you know we are on a world record of six emails that have gone unanswered now we're on a world record six emails that have gone unanswered but Team Joshua can send emails that go unanswered. But Team Wilder sends an email and it's, ah, uh, it's just some guy from Alabama. It's just some guy from Alabama. He doesn't have that type of money. He don't have that money. He doesn't have that. Some guy from Alabama. But we want to act like race doesn't play a part in boxing. We want to act like race doesn't play a part. Andre Ward wants to act like race doesn't play a part. Like all this shit that's going on right now. None of this stuff, some guy from Alabama, he doesn't have the money. None of this has anything to do with race. Right, right. Well, if you believe nothing, and none of this has nothing to do with race, then you're just as a fucking idiot as, as, as the rest of these uh, dick riding UK fanboys. That's what you want to believe. Fine, I don't give a fuck. But let's get let's stay into these offers. So so uh, Team Wilder heard Team Joshua on uh, in the media on Twitter in the media talking about fifty million dollars. So they responded. 
You you want fifty million dollars, right? And you'll sign that fight tomorrow. Cool. We'll be a man of your word because we have the receipts. You said this. We have the receipts. The receipt says you are a man of your. Uh, you, the, the receipt says give me fifty million dollars and I'll take this fight tomorrow. That's what the receipt say. That's what the receipt says. If I was to look at this receipt, right? If I was to look at this receipt. This receipt says, this receipt says, give me 50 million and I'll sign this fight tomorrow. That's what the receipt says. That's what the receipt says. Your your fan says, uh, your, all your UK dick riding fans and your pussy ass, fake ass American channel fans were out in droves. Okay, Wilder, you got your bluff called. You got your bluff called. Show, where's the 50 million dollars now? Get the 50 million dollars. He told you what it is. Get the 50. The champ has spoken. The champ said $50 million. Give him $50 million. That's what these channels were saying. I downloaded them. These fuckboy American channels. I downloaded them. So whether you removed the fucking, whether you removed it or not, I downloaded the video. So go ahead and say you didn't do it so I can fucking expose you. But anyways, anyways. These fuckboy American channels, these pussy ass UK channels was like, okay, yeah, well, now the champ has spoken. The champ has said, give him $50 million. Give him $50 million. You know what I'm saying? Make that, make, give him $50 million and he'll make the fight. Show and tell time, Wilder. Show and tell time. So Wilder said, fine, the money's in the bag. Here is your $50 million. Here's your $50 million. And after, after he fucking gave you $50 million, you said, I'm not selling my soul for $50 million. I'm not selling my soul for $50 million. You never mentioned nothing about BT. You never mentioned nothing about anything else. You just said, I'm not selling my soul for $50 million. Oh, I'm not. Listen. And they, and they, they interview him in the media. Looks, looks like the fight's going to happen, AJ. Yeah, $50 million, baby. $50 million. $50 million, baby. If you watch that interview, what, right? When he says that. The, energy, the whole energy changed. The whole energy. When he's like, yeah, baby. Looks like the fight's going to happen. 50 million, baby. 50 million, baby. And then Joshua's like, well, look, I, I'm not going to sell my soul for $50 million. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm about. You know what I mean? And then the interview was like, oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand. Yeah, yeah. The whole energy changed. The whole energy. The 50 million, baby. That shit changed from that to, yeah, well, yeah, I, I, I understand. Yeah, I understand. Right after Anthony Joshua said, oh, well, I'm not going to sell my soul for 50 million. You know what I mean? That's what I'm about. I'm not going to sell my soul for 50 million dollars. You know what I mean? That's that's what I'm about. The whole energy changed at that interviewer. The whole energy changed. The whole energy. 50 million, baby. Went from that to, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I, I, I understand. Yeah, I, I understand. I get it. Yeah, you do get it. You do get it. He's a fucking pussy. He wants no work. You do get it. And then that's when the excuse is about, oh, well, he fights on Sky and that money's coming from BT. That's when those excuses came out. Funny how those excuses now don't work when Tyson Fury's in a picture who fights on BT. Now all of a sudden, oh, well, well, they can work together. They can do a joint pay-per-view. But they couldn't do a joint pay-per-view with Deontay Wilder. Even though the money wasn't even coming from BT. It wasn't even coming. That was just an option. That was an option. The option was they were going to buy all the rights. You wanted 50 million, here's 50 million. But Deontay Wilder fights on Showtime. He fights on Showtime, right? But you were willing to offer him 15 million to buy all the rights. And you're still willing to offer him $15 million. This is the funny part. This is the funny part. Deontay Wilder, right? Deontay Wilder, if the if the money, if the if the one offer from BT was willing to offer you the $50 million that you asked for and buy all the rights to the fight, $50 million, buy it all. Now you get your $50 million, they fight. Winners undisputed. Deontay Wilder was willing to do that. But the very deal that you're offering Deontay Wilder is the exact same type of shit that he offered you. 
where you're saying, oh, well, your fucking weird ass fans are saying, oh, he can't take that. He can't take that. He fights on Sky. Everybody knows he fights on Sky. Well, Joshua fights on the zone. Exclusively on the zone. Exclusively. So Deontay Wilder fighting Anthony Joshua will be exclusively on the zone. So Deontay Wilder is supposed to take $50 million. I mean, 15. He's supposed to take $15 million and then fight Anthony Joshua exclusively on the zone. Oops. Oh, but that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's his highest payday. It's about the business of boxing. In the business of boxing, it's his highest payday. So take your highest payday. Well, name the fight that Anthony Joshua made $50 million in. His highest payday is against Jarrell Miller, $38 million. The last I checked, 38 is not higher than 50 So name the fight that Anthony Joshua made $50 million in. Name the fight that he made his highest purse in. Oops. Oops. Bozos. Y'all are fucking clowns. Bozos. Absolute turds. Absolute turds. Deontay Wilder has made multiple offers. Multiple. He's improved his offer many times. Many. You guys uh, even said, uh, okay, 15 million. Deontay Wilder agreed to take it. And right when he agreed to take it, you guys said, oh, no, we're fighting Pavekin. And now these fucking weirdos are coming on my channel saying, oh, look, this fight's going to happen in 2020. I know it. It's going to happen. After after uh, Anthony Joshua beats Jarrell Miller, you know, then... After he beats Jarrell Miller, you know, they're going to start negotiating. And this fight is going to happen in 2020. And Deontay Wilder better not duck it. He better not duck it. This fight's going to happen in 2020. <laughs> what the fuck? Listen here, you fucking bozo dickhead. We told you motherfuckers the fight was going to happen in 2020 years ago. Years ago. When Anthony Joshua said, uh, I'll fight De uh, Deontay Wilder when I'm in a position to win. Now, if that's 2019 or 2020, then that's when it will be. But now you're coming out like he better he's going to fight him in 2020. Just watch. And Wilder better not duck it. He's going to fight him in 2020. Just watch. What? 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 Oh, OK. Cool. Clowns. Y'all are a horde of dick riding fucking clowns. Pussy ass clowns. But it's okay. The BFTB channel takedown challenge is my live. <laughs> that is my live today. BFTB, shout out to the mighty LDBC, and I'm out.